What's going on my beautiful governors, welcome to Spartan Gaming, welcome to a new Rise of Kingdoms video. Today we will talk about the equipment, but specifically we will talk about the Season of Conquest accessories. Many of you guys ask me about the accessories, which ones are the best, which ones are the worst, and for free to play and low spenders, even though these accessories are super strong, they are also super costly, and we must know which are the best, so when we craft it, when we spend lots of materials and blueprint, we want to make sure that we will get really high value from that item. After I tell you what I think about the each accessory, I will give it a rating for free to plays and low spenders. Without further ado, let's start with Ring of Doom. As you guys can see, I have a Ring of Doom and it's on my Attila. It says normal attacks have a 10% chance to increase damage by 50% for 2 seconds. Ring of Doom is an amazing item and the reason why I have it on my Attila because there is a 10% chance to increase the damage for 50% like I said and if you're using this item with a high skill damage commander with very low normal attacks you have to be so lucky because you want that ring of doom to get activated just when you are casting your active skill let's say you have a nebu ysg if ring of doom procs just before they cast their active skills they deal tons of damage but if it procs during the skill cycle it doesn't do much but as you guys know Atil Takeda is all about normal damage, so simply every single time this ring procs, it's amazing because all they do is normal attack damage or counter attack damage. So every single time this procs, it will give me great value. This doesn't mean that you cannot use Ring of Doom for skill damage commanders. This accessory is actually great on pretty much every single march, but if you're gonna use it with a skill damage commander like not an Atil Takeda, not a Pakal Herald, then you want to make sure that you are going to use it on a pair that casts their skill very very frequently because more they cast their active skill you will have a very high chance for that skill to align with the ring of doom proc for example herald or xy for example since his rage requirement let me show you real quick his rage requirement is 900 that means he will cast his active skill a lot more than the usual skill damage commanders and that's why there is a higher chance this ring of doom proc will align with that active skill to sum it up ring of doom is amazing for commanders that deals very high normal attack damage or counter attack damage like atel takeda uh, pakal herald etc also it's really good for commanders that deal skill damage very very frequently i will give it a 4.5 out of five for free to plays and low spender this is an amazing item if you are going to craft a kvk accessory ring of doom must be one of them after that we have greatest glory simple normal attack damage five percent do i like this not much i think vengeance is a lot better than greatest glory i'm not gonna bore you with the math but if you do the math you will see that if two or more people attacking you on the open field and it happens a lot mathematically vengeance becomes a lot stronger than greatest glory and imagine if three or four people are swarming you then vengeance is way 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 better so greatest glory definitely not my favorite and since we mentioned vengeance let's talk about it real quick as i told you when people swarms you vengeance is amazing it doesn't have much benefit for skill damage commanders and many commanders are skill damage based commanders their strongest thing is high skill damage so it's quite a niche accessory it's quite specific the only time that i will use vengeance is probably either on atel Takeda or pakal herald but as i said it's not as versatile as ring of doom ring of doom you can pretty much use it on any march but its effectiveness might change but vengeance on the other hand is just amazing for two marches and as free to plays and low spenders we cannot choose those super specific items we have to go for the versatility we have to go for utility we have to get the best value that we can when we craft an item especially if it's an accessory which is a lot more expensive than the other equipments and this is why i will give a vengeance a 2.5 or maybe 3 out of 5 if you have a max atel cicada or a pakal herald yes you might consider going for vengeance for example i have a max atel cicada and i do consider going for vengeance but Right now I have my Ring of Doom on Attila and a proc Silent Trial. I might go for it, but it's definitely not my priority. After Vengeance, let's talk about Horn of Fury. Normal attacks have a 30% chance to gain extra 50 rage. I love this item. I will give this a 5 out of 5 for free to plays, low spenders, mid spenders, I don't care, high spenders. 
because this is super generic this is super versatile this is super useful for every single match because rage is as you guys know it's super important in this game this is the number one item that i would craft and i that's what i did actually first i craft a horn of fury then i went for a ring of doom and i recommend you to do that the same because you can never go wrong with a horn of fury and the other thing that i love about horn of fury if you look at my guan yu talents i don't have feral nature the reason why I don't have Feral Nature is because of Ring of Doom. Ring of Doom simply gives you the luxury to not go for Feral Nature, which is amazing because if I would, I would have to spend 5, 3, that's 8, and that's 10. 10 talent points. I will need to spend 10 talent points to go for Feral Nature. Instead, I'm able to use those in different places for different talents, and that's only thanks to Horn of Fury. So not just it's super helpful, since its benefit is increasing your rage, you can get rid of your feral nature and get other talent points that are more useful. And that's the reason why I give this 5 out of 5. Horn of Fury is amazing. Another amazing accessory is Concealed Dagger. 30% chance to reduce target's health by 5%, stacks up 3 times. The only downside is, as free to plays as low spenders, you guys already know it, our main goal is to be a strong open field fighter not a rally leader not a garrison leader but a strong open field fighter and this concealed dagger actually takes some time to stack because it has a 30 percent chance and it only decreases health by five percent it needs to stack so it stacks up three times that's why concealed dagger and mora's web are a lot better for rally or garrison leaders because leading a rally or defending a garrison it might take like hours until the fight is done and that's where these accessories are a lot useful because they take some time to stack. Nevertheless, they are still really good like they are not as bad as Greatest Glory for open field but they are also not as good like a Horn of Fury in my opinion. If you think otherwise, please leave that in the comments so we can discuss and learn from each other. Conceal Dagger and Mora's Web, I will give them 3 out of 5 and this is for open field because we are mainly talking about for free to plays and low spenders the good thing about concealed dagger and mora's web since they are accessories that defense reduction from mora's web or this health reduction from concealed dagger can actually stack with commander skills let me show you real quick chandra gupta's debuffs he applies exos to the target which reduces their health by one percent and their defense by one percent this skill since this is a skill it can actually stack with the debuffs from accessories so this is the beauty of Concealed Dagger and Mora's Web. They can stack with Commander's skills. After that, we have Skola's Lucky Coin. This is specifically good for garrison commanders like Zenobia, but also it's a really cool item for Guan Yu. Because if you take a look at Guan Yu, his expertise says whenever Guan Yu gains a shield, he also increases skill damage by 15% for 3 seconds. Yes, you can get it with Leonidas, you can get this shield with Leonidas, but it only applies when you are down to 50% and when you are at 50%, usually you need to retreat. The shield of Leonidas is not very reliable, not very consistent when it comes to Guan Yu's expertise. To benefit from that Guan Yu's expertise, you need, well not you need, but it's better to have a Scholar's Lucky Coin. So to me, the best accessories for Guan Yu would be a Horn of Fury and Scholar's Lucky Coin. But just like Vengeance, I think this also a very niche specific accessory. As I said before, it's only good for commanders like certain garrison commanders and Guan Yu. Just like I told you in Vengeance, if you have Max Takeda, yes, you might consider Vengeance, but it shouldn't be your priority. To me, it's the same story. I'm considering going for a Vengeance, but it's definitely not my priority. The same thing applies if you have a Max Guan Yu, an expertise Guan Yu. You might consider going for a Scholar's like a coin, but shouldn't be your priority. I might go for it, not my priority, we will see. So we did talk about Ring of Doom, Greatest Glory, Horn of Fury, Concealed Dagger, Mora's Web, Scholar's Lucky Coin and Vengeance. By the way, I have a weekly video idea, what you can do week by week as a free to play or a low spender. If you didn't know, I have only purchased premium crystal supply for $5, I haven't purchased any of the uh, pop-up bundles or anything because I'm a super super low spender and I want to show you guys each week what we have done, what technologies we were able to unlock, or how many season coins that we were able to accumulate. I want to turn this into a weekly video during our KVK, our Season of Conquest Heroic Anthem KVK. And we can also talk about the achievements, like what have we done so far, what we did, how much honor we got, all that good stuff. If you would be interested on those type of videos, those account update videos during a KVK for a low spender, 
All you gotta do is to leave that in the comments or if you have any suggestions, any video ideas, also don't forget to comment down below so I can produce what you guys want most. Hope you liked it, hope you enjoyed it and find it useful and informative and if you did, a simple like and subscribe only takes one second but helps the channel a lot. Thank you guys so much, I see you on the next one, bye.